Um, right, redeem yourself. Have you got the film thing you're in? Right, yeah, I'm in a film. Uh, it's Pulp Fiction this week. Right. Right. Uh, changed it a little bit, tweaked the storyline a little bit. <laughs> okay. It's just- To make uh, it better, yeah. It's just a- do you know I've talked about Suzanne Zare on that? Yeah. About when she got it caught, didn't like it and that. Yeah. So it's sort of about that. Uh, listen to it, there'll be a question at the end. You can win some good stuff. Yeah, well. Right? So, <laughs> and this is the scene where they're in the restaurant, do you know when they're about to do yeah. the- the robbery? Yeah, probably. Except it's not a restaurant, change that, it's a barber's. Right. All right. Okay. All right. God. There you go. Then. Oh, is there going to be a question after this? Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, girlfriend came in here earlier. Had a haircut. I'm not happy with it. Look at the state <laughs> of that. Well, d don't laugh. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't want to cause any fuss, but just, just want you to sort it out. Afraid I can't do that. Well, you can do that because it looks a mess. Look, my friend, this is just where you and I differ. Well. Well, you, you've got to do something, because look at it. When she came through the front door at home, I thought Dave Hill and Slade had walked in. Funny, I was thinking the same thing. Look, we, I don't want to cause any problems or anything. She hasn't even seen it properly yet. She sort of had it cut and came straight home and didn't, didn't look at it. Suzanne, just look in that mirror. Look what they've done to your head. God damn it, what is it? <laughs> Suzanne! Get in now! We're not going to do anything stupid, are we? I'm the manager here. There's no problem. What do you mean it's not a problem? Look at the state of her hair. Be calm, cooperate, and this will all be over in a minute. I won't go home. Well, we're not going anywhere until they sort your hair out. I'm, I'm not walking home with you, with your hair like that. It's, in, it's embarrassing. So, so let's just get it... You die. No, forget having it die. Just get it cut. Colour's not a problem. Just sort it out. Just get rid of... Let's see what we can do. Right. Good. Look at it. Look at the state of it. I'm trying real hard. Suzanne, just keep your head still there so you can... Just hang in there, baby. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. <laughs> just sort that bit out there. Just cut that. My barber says I've got the, uh, the hair of a Chinaman. Have you, have you heard that before? <laughs> What's so, what's so funny about that? Is it is it serious or what? Freaking me out. If my answers frighten you, you should cease asking scary questions. It's almost over. There you go. No, it's not. It's not brilliant, but that'll have to do, won't it? I reckon we'll have to buy her a uh, a hat on the way home. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> Do you think Suzanne's listening? It's all right, isn't it? I like, the <laughs> fact, I like the fact that in that she's represented with a sort of dimwit southern accent. Yeah. Your girlfriend. So I'm yeah. sure she would have appreciated that. All right, it was well. nice, yeah. It was a nice. I, I don't know what kind of copyright infringements <laughs> that was made. Yeah. But, uh,